This is part 23 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to style the form controls based on the validation state. Here, we have the list of classes and glyph icons for styling the form controls based on the validation state. For success validation state, we have has success class. Similarly, for warning and error validation states, we have has warning and has error classes respectively. We also have the glyph icons for these three validation states. Let's look at an example now. So here is what we want to do. When you register for an online account, you are required to type in a password. When you type in a strong password, you might have seen controls styled like this. Look at the label which says password, the border around the text box, and this help text strong password. All of them are in green in color. So here, the controls are styled for success validation state. Let's see how to achieve this using Bootstrap. At the moment, we have the label which says password and a text box to capture the password. And here is the HTML required for that. Here, we have a horizontal form. Inside that, we have a div element with class form group. And inside that, we have a label for password. And that label is two units wide. And then a div element, which is 10 units wide. Inside the div element, we have a text box to capture the password. At the moment, we are not displaying this help text that says strong password. To display that, I'm going to use a span element with class set to help block. We use this class to display the help text associated with the form control. And in this case, the help text is going to be strong password. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, we should see that help text associated with the form control. Now, we want to style these form controls for success validation state. To achieve that, all we have to do is, on the parent development right here, use has success class. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice now how the controls are styled for success validation state. Now, let's discuss how to style the form controls for warning validation state. For example, if we type in a weak password, this is how we want our form controls to be styled. Let's look at this in action. Let's make a copy of this form group that we have here. And the help text is going to say weak password. And instead of using has success class, I'm going to use has warning class. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice now these controls are styled for warning validation state. Let's now discuss styling form controls for error validation state. Let's say, for example, we have a form field that expects an integer. For example, an age field like this. In this field, if we type alphabets instead of numbers, we want to style these form controls for error validation state. Let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's make a copy of this form group. The label should be age. Let's use input type text instead of input type password. The help text below that should be invalid age. And now to style these controls for error validation state, instead of using has warning class, we are going to use has error class. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice now the form controls are styled for error validation state. The colors that we get depends on the bootstrap validation class that we are using. In addition to these classes, we can also use these glyph icons with the three validation states that we have. Let's see how to use these icons with different validation states. So here is what we want to do. Depending on the validation state, we want to display these different icons. These are glyph icons, and you can find these icons right here, getbootstrap.com forward slash components. With success validation state, this is the icon that we want to use. With error validation state, this is the icon. And with warning validation state, this is the icon. Let's look at the steps involved. If you look at where we want these icons, we want them right inside the form controls themselves. So immediately next to the input element, I'm going to use a span element. And the class for this is going to be the name of the glyph icon. With success validation state, we want to use glyph icon, glyph icon OK. So this icon is going to display that little tick mark for us. 
In addition to the glyph icon name, we also have to use a class here, and that is form control feedback class. And on this div element right here, which has the form group and has success classes, we have to use another class, and that is has feedback class. Let's do these changes for the other two div elements. So on the second div element, let's use has feedback class on the third one as well. And then let's use this span element with this input element. So with warning validation state, we want to display a different icon. And that is glyph icon warning sign. And let's do the same thing with the last development here. So next to the age text box, let's paste the span element. And with error validation state, we want to use a different icon. And that is glyph icon remove, which is going to display that little cross. Let's save our changes. And when we reload our page, notice we get the icons as expected. Finally, let's discuss styling input groups. Here, we have an input group. Notice, next to the text box, there is a dollar symbol appended to it. So this dollar symbol and this text box are inside an input group. Styling input groups is very similar to styling the other form controls that we have seen so far. First, let's create this input group. So let's flip to Visual Studio. I'm going to place this text box inside an input group. First, let's create an input group. To create an input group, I'm going to create a div element with class set to input group. And then let's move this text box inside that div element. Now, to this text box, we want to append the dollar symbol. For that, I'm going to use span element. And then the class for this is going to be input group add-on. And what we want to append to this input element is a dollar symbol. So I'm going to place the dollar symbol inside that span element. So this is going to give us an input group consisting of this dollar symbol and this text box. And for completeness, I'm going to change this label to income because we are displaying a dollar. And the placeholder is going to say your annual income. And let's get rid of the other developments that we have here. Let's save our changes. And when we reload the page, notice we get an input group that is styled for success validation state. Now, if you want to style input groups for warning and error validation states, all you have to do is use different classes and different glyph icons. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.